I was never tempted to. I was never tempted to. I, I, I somehow I never. I was never tempted to go anywhere, because it, it is, uh, the opportunity that you get in this place and the satisfaction you get here, that's uh, something very really unique. Something very really unique. Yeah. Maybe there's so many reasons. One, of course, was as a born and brought up, right? And I'm so familiar with the whole place and environment and that, and the people here. Are, and then in the meantime, I got some opportunity to be in other states also, and then when you compare it, and that of course happens to all, perhaps, but still, if you look at other places, you know how disturbed they are, how in comparison to that one, it's so peaceful. <laughs> Sikkim is so peaceful, and uh, you can almost uh, touch the heart of other people if you're a little bit, you know, if you really want to. So that's one thing. Then. Uh, yeah, there are so many people I really know, and there are so many people who really uh, give us opportunity to serve them, which perhaps if I am in some other place, I don't know whether I will be comfortable enough to be there or how they will accept us, receive us. But then, yes, definitely, if I have not been involved in this project or in, you know, especially attending to the people of my own community. Definitely I, I would have been in some other place in India, especially for the uh, people, you know, uh, in very, very backward or scheduled caste, they call it. So in such place I would have been working, definitely next to this, I would have gone to such places and worked there. But uh, I didn't have to. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm very grateful to God. I was never attracted towards marriage or something, right from a young, young age. So that is the greatest gift I've got from God, perhaps. So otherwise sometimes you feel, there are some people I've seen that they're not very happy when they're a little old, when there's no one to look after them. They feel, oh, I wish I had my own children, I had my, wish I should have my, I, I wish I had my own family kind of thing. That, um, I, I never had it and now it's too late to have all these things. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm really grateful to God for this. <laughs> The special thing is that you know that what you are trying to do you know, and what they need in the sense that if they are left to themselves, I don't know, I don't know what their future would have been. And you know one very sad thing about our community is that in other uh, other communities also, but not as uh, much as in our community, alcohol is very common. It's used very common. It is its use is very common in the family households and even the ladies, because uh, for them it is just a part of their daily food kind of. 
So that way, children hardly, very few children get have the opportunity to uh, regularly study. You know, study regularly, go to school properly, and then um, their homework, etc. And if the teachers are not uh, very uh, understanding, that leads to drop out of the children because at home they have hardly any atmosphere to sit for their revision or homework. And next day they have to go to school, and then uh, they are not up to the expectation. You know, so how many, very few teachers can understand the situation at home. So that way they lose a lot of interest, and sometimes it's because of that they drop out, right? And uh, since they are not uh, studying at home properly, they they can't maintain the standard also, and then somehow they find it difficult to carry on their studies. So that way, when children are here, this one thing I found missing. So this we are trying to do regular studies and exposure and meeting with people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, then we are concentrating on the girls. So, because, you know, one reason that when the mother is educated, all of us will agree, I, I don't know in your case, but if the mother is uh, well educated, or maximum things children learn from the mother. In reality, still, the men are, most of the time, they are working out, they go out, but mo most of the time, children learn with the mother. So if the mother is uh, properly educated, the uh, maximum things will pass on to the children. Right? And uh, hopefully a day will come when nobody will be illiterate. <laughs> yeah. mm. So we are trying to reach different people through the children. We are trying to reach. Uh, we can't uh, 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 concentrate on one family or two families, but the children, two, three hundred children going back home and carrying the message, you know. So, that's, that's one thing, to reach, the one way to reach the poor or different families. We're trying to do that. Uh, almost all the guardians, I think, expect that. But then, uh, here in in a group, I think these things are quite possible to do it at home. Maybe the love of the parents too much; <laughs> they overlook certain things. And then here, is, is, since uh, everyone is treated in the same way, it's a. Uh, I find it's much easier, perhaps, to uh, make them understand their responsibility. <laughs> And then they are very keen to learn or listen to things what the others have to say. And maybe they, uh, in other places they, are, they have already so many in, uh, resources, you know, like for the, they have uh, many gadgets and all that. They learn too many things perhaps. Here it's just uh, limited only. And they, yeah, uh, when we have a TV program also, we'll try, we try to see that unnecessarily don't, they do, don't waste their time. Luckily, mm. our teachers and staff members, they are well motivated and they know what for they are here. They are paid very little, very in comparison to government salaries and all that, it's very less. But still, they, they know what they are trying to do and what for they are here. So maybe that's helping us a lot. And it's not only one person, but uh, we try to see that all of us try our best to be examples to the children. Uh, I think what they see is more important. <laughs> <coughs> it's beautiful that was uh, in the beginning. Singapore team, that was the first team ever came here in such a big way. And then one of the main projects was this uh, hall up there. So they had uh, collected the fund in Singapore. So uh, of course the people, uh, we had to engage people here, but the fund came from your side, from Singapore. And later on, they, when the team came, 
they painted the room and they did a lot of things there. A side by side, they engaged the children with a number of activities. So, Okay. Beautiful because uh, uh, mainly the children, uh, mainly all the children are from remote areas uh, and uh, they are the first generation learners and there are places where people still, even till today, and they cannot uh, face the people from other places, right? Uh, but when they are here, here in a group, uh, they gain a lot of confidence, they interact. Uh, for a few days, uh, for a few, few minutes, they are a bit shy and they uh, uh, watch each other interacting with others, singing, and all in group, group, you know, they really do very well. And then they really gain a lot of confidence. Of course, they are very happy, very happy. They feel very much cared and loved by others, which they miss a lot. Because, you know, but many of them are orphans. They, have, they don't have parents. And then many of them do not have uh, their father or mother. And then like that, so or too many children where they hardly get individual attention and love, you know, or they are too busy with their uh, other household work. So when people like you come from outside, they feel so much you know, taken care of. They feel that, and they get a lot of um, attention, care, love. <laughs> so that they, they gain a lot of confidence, and they they are quite open. They are quite, that helps a lot. That, you know. I scorpion. I I should say. I by man, you know, spider. Spider, go and centipede. I don't get money. 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 Every child comes with a story. If you look at the background, you know, many children. Like, for example, the one, once a little girl came. Actually, I got a phone call, you know, I got a phone call um, saying that there's uh, someone whose husband had deserted her, didn't accept her, and then uh, uh, little, uh, this little young girl is with about two years old child, so whether I can take the child or not. I said the child is a little too young, we don't have uh, sufficient stuff for that. Uh, anyhow, but uh, let me have a look at the child and meet the mother. So the next day, I wanted to meet the mother and find out, but then she came with the child with the intention to leave the child here. So she said the child is four, a little girl, four year old. And then, my, but my niece, you know, she told me, later on she told me, I, I just tried to find out the background and when she was ready to leave behind the child, but the child looked very lovely, very lovely and very nice child. So. Uh, we decided to keep the child, okay, we give a try. And my uh, uh, next day or so, my niece told me that the child doesn't look like four year old. Uh, her recipe is not clear, but definitely the child is not four year old. And then, uh, anyway, the child grew up, she was growing up. After three or four years, this mother came to apologize. She said, yes, the child was actually only two years, three months old. She told lies because if uh, I, she had told me that the child is only two years, three months old, uh, I might not agree to keep the child. She was so desperate to keep the child here. So the child, anyway, she's a very bright, quite a bright child. And uh, after four years or so, when the mother came there, somehow the child had got the hint. Somebody had told that it was her mother or something. I don't know. I was talking with this lady, and this little girl came. And she sat in my lap, you know, still uh, quite small. She was then not four years old, after two years or so. She was in my lap and she went on asking me, you know, uh, tell me, who is this lady? She kept, went on asking. Her mother, her own mother was that side. I was sitting on this side. And as uh, she, she asked me, you know, um, she, call, she calls me, Nyuku, it's grandmother, who is this lady? I said, come on, you go and find out yourself. I don't know, you go and ask. 
and then again she so slowly she went and she start after some she started playing with the hair you know she her, with her hair then again came back and again asked me you uh, who is this lady you know then again like I said no come on you find out yourself and like that and later on she came to know that it was her mother right so uh, this little girl she used to we she used to share the same bed you know she used to sleep with me and after some time we had another little girl again who came to or oh, let cottage and I told her that now you are uh, a little older than her now you have got a younger sister so let the younger sister be with me and then she she can uh, take another bed then she was uh, like was about there you know and she'll be just at, at my foot and she said only one night you go only one one night <laughs> she allowed the little new girl to sleep with me for one night only she was there then I said okay Come on, go and sleep with another friend. And then, you know, at night when I woke up, I fell asleep. At night when I woke up, I was feeling very uncomfortable. And when I woke up and I saw this little one, she was sleeping at my foot. <laughs> and the new one was with me. So I tried to do that, just to give a little... For some time, yes, when I find that the child is not uh, very confident or not conf comfortable, I make... Uh, we share the same bed for some time. And then once they, she's quite comfortable, then she mingles with other children and all that. But I still remember that, you know, she was just at the foot, at my foot, and said, at the end of the bed, I mean. And then she said, only one night, you know, only one night. <laughs> and then night she was there, she herself was also there, sleeping there. Anyway, these things are there. It's nice sometimes. My name is Parvi Thapa. <laughs> Who's that? 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 Mm. And uh, there's another lady. Uh, she's uh, she's the one who helped us to complete the boys' hostel. So perhaps this is the hostel. That's it. <laughs> Miss Kiko, what is the one thing you want the children to remember? Like, if there's only one thing. Like, oh, no, no, they should be responsible. Uh, and, uh, only uh, recollect, we try to understand why so many people had had them so much. Wish they, they could realize that. Uh, that is the greatest thing we would like them to remember. You know, so many people working with like people from different places, from different countries. They must realize that, you know, how beautiful it is. Oh, <laughs> 